Hey, this is Big Fish and Custom Tackle, and today I'm going to give you guys a tip about uh, salmon fishing here. It's the day before king season here, and uh, I like to get ready a little bit early. I always say a good fisherman starts before the day. So what I'm doing here is, is I'm cut plugging my herring and getting them ready. These are some uh, big horse herring that I have left over, and this is a cut plug jig, I guess you'd call it. What I've done is, is I've taken it and I put Velcro on the bottom of it. On the, on the bottom, taking this old cutting board here, and I put some Velcro on my knife, and just a quick little bait station for in your boat. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and slice all the heads off these and dig the guts out of them. And then what we're going to do is, uh, I stack them in here, as you can see, uh, head to tail, stack them in, and uh, then we're going to brine them. So, give me a sec. So here we are, I got it about halfway full, and we're going to go ahead and add some... Uh, some store-bought brine here. Uh, you can make your own brine with rock salt and gun bluing. A lot of guys do add your own scents, but for ease of application, I just like to buy, use the store-bought stuff. And I like the blue because I think it has the most natural presentation of the fish. So now about halfway through here, we're going to go ahead and cover it with some of them. And then we're going to fill this thing up the rest of the way and add some more. All right, so now we've gotten uh, all their heads cut off and guts dug out of most of them, some of my missed, but you can do that on the water also. Um, so now we're gonna go ahead and add this. Okay, you can see that cooler fills up pretty good there. I got this cooler at the uh, thrift store for a couple of bucks. And uh, it's going to do its duty. I'm going to cover this with ice, put this in the fridge, and then tomorrow when I get up ready to rock and roll, these are going to be nice and brined and uh, bright, shiny blue and ready to rock and roll. So, anyways, Big Fish and Custom Tackle signing off, and uh, keep your rods in the water, and good luck tomorrow, guys. One more little tip I want to give you here is uh, I've cut all the, the head off these herring, and I'm going to save these. You don't throw this stuff away. That's crab bait right there. So... Um, you know, I'll go ahead and freeze those and then tomorrow when we go out and I'll fill my crab pot up with the herring heads and then you're not, you're not wasting any money. So, uh, anyways, like I said, keep your rods in the water. Good luck.